Welcome, welcome, patrons. Even in game, the Friends of Red Jenny seem to be a hard to understand concept. So today, let's take a few minutes, and I mean a few minutes because this is going to be a very short video, to talk about what the group is. So what is it? Simply put, the Friends of Red Jenny is a loose organization aimed at helping the lower classes in Thetis. Its exact structure is loose by design, and while I'm sure that does help with keeping their acts secret, it's probably also due to their leaders not liking organization. As it stands, there seem to be two different types of members. Those in the lower class will leave clues and requests with red objects with the aim of hurting or sabotaging the upper class. These are friends. The whole thing seems to be led by regional leaders who look over and organize this request. These leaders find and manipulate situations to fulfill these requests, sometimes even claiming events that they didn't actually cause. These are Jennies. History The World of Thetis gives some history to the Jennies. It says that the Antiven Crows took an interest in them and would go on to investigate the Red Jennies. This is actually hinted at in Dragon Age Origins, where you can find a few Red Jenny items in places where the Antiven Crows are. As the story goes, the group started around the early Blessed Age or so. It might actually be older, it's in question, but it's at least a hundred years or older. Although the name Red Jenny is much older than that, it doesn't actually say where the origin is from. The group started as an assassination guild, but were considered very cheap and would often pay street urgents for information, plant weapons, or even as recruits, which would later explain how Sarah was picked up. After the fifth flight, while the group lost a lot of members, they would become more active and start spreading across Thetis. They would also step back away from the assassinations. Their new smaller size might not have been from the Blight, but it's hinted that there may have been a reason for cutting back as well, but we don't know what that is. In his older form, a Red Jenny in Navarra was killed by mercenaries about 50 years prior to the Fifth Blight. I'm not sure if a Jenny from Ferelden was just in Navarra for some reason, or if the group had actually spread that far out in its early years. At the moment, we know of a few current Jennies. In Denrim, we know there is an active presence there, but we don't know who it is. It's possible that the ones we hear about in Dragon Age Origins is Sarah, as she would have been there at the time, but from her O account and from the game where it talks about a very large shadow being in the doorway, it doesn't seem like it was her. In Navara, a man named Johi leads the Jennies. We don't know much about him, but he has a reputation to be very harsh. In Kirkwall, although based in Tantervale, is Charade, who is most notably the champion of Kirkwall's cousin and daughter to Gamelin. I'm also pretty sure this is her at the end of Trespasser, but as they don't really use her name, that's not a positive, but I, it's, it seems pretty similar to me. In Starkhaven, there are said to be three who are brothers, although it's unknown if they are still around as Sari uses the past tense to talk about them. There's also a fan theory that it could have been Sebastian Vale and his brothers, although I, I don't know, I think that's unlikely as it... Why would a prince of Starkhaven, which is the highest rank you can get in Starkhaven, would become a Jenny and act for the lower class when they are very much the higher class? I, I don't know. Maybe it's possible. And then, of course, there is Sarah and Val Rayo. Our beloved Sarah actually holds a fairly high position in the group as a whole, if there are even high positions to begin with. She was originally based out in Denerim, but after the fifth flight, she essentially took a wagon up to Val Rayo just to escape all the chaos. As for a player's dealings with them, they come up in all three games. In Dragon Age Origins, it actually starts with Zevran. During the encounter where he ambushes you, you can loot one of the travelers to find a note from the friends of Red Jenny. This note talks about stealing a painted box from the first enchanter, Irving. The note also has a map, but it requires the box to be placed on top of it to find the right door to where you can find the Jennies. Once you find the box, you go to Denrim, you can deliver it to the door, get a reward, and you hear a child's laughter. In Dragon's Inquisition, Sarah will go on to talk about playing with painted boxes, leading some to wonder if the child's laughter is her. <laughs> in Dragon Age 2, you can meet a friend in the Hanged Man who will give you rewards for killing off the games in Kirkwall. When the streets are finally cleared, she will tell you that the money Hawk got was from the Friends of Red Jenny. As Sarah would later describe in Dragon Age Inquisition, it's likely that the money was actually pulled together by various people in the lower classes. And getting to Dragon Age Inquisition, we obviously have Sarah, who is a Red Jenny, and if friended, the Inquisitor can actually become one as well. From the looks of it, the process to become a Jenny is just for the others to agree and become one. And for those interested, as the scene itself doesn't show any faces, let's pull out with Flycam and watch. So it's my turn to help you. See, I have these friends, and all of them were the wrong sort of whatever. Their place changed, or it never was. So together, we made an us. Everyone needs an us. And when the world is done saying no and calls you the wrong sort of whatever, maybe we can be that us for you. 
What do you think, Inquisitor? Want to run some rooftops as a Jenny? So as you can see, nothing super interesting. There are just some basic NPC faces. They might even just be simple representatives from each of the Jennies rather than the Jennies themselves. But maybe they represent the Jennies and they just didn't want to actually model the faces. I don't know. It's up to your, your, your interpretation at this point. And that, dear patrons, is all that we know of the Friends of Red Jenny. Yeah, I know that was really short, but that's what I got. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still think great questions? Proof that I'm wrong? Comments about your own fan theory? Feel free to tweet me at, at Gilderthon on Twitter or send a PM to user Gilanon on Reddit. Dress your all.